All right, welcome back. All right, so now. Speak up now. I will, I will, I will. What will happen? I'm supposed to merge mine, so. Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. Oh, good. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be useful. I should have been listening. Well, let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Crossing. My legs are already crossed. Which one? Oh. All right. Memory lounger. Ah, let's get comfortable in this uh, TV area. Ah, oh, that's nice. Please stand by. I can't move at all. All right. Watch TV time. Ah, this is exciting. Perfect. The monitor activity coming from the transplant could be generated, but it's scarce. We're going to load you in with the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Hold on. Okay. Big things. Dug it. Right. I. Ah. I can't see anything. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Ah, oh, good. Wow. The simulation ah. appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Whoa. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one Whoa. that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. This Ooh. is the earliest intact memory I can find. Go on. Follow the light. Neurons. Oh. Remember. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Me. Aw. <coughs> oh. I was such a dummy back then. Oh. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. What? I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Oh. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <clears throat> that cost her more than a few beatings. Uh-oh. I never knew what happened to her after I left. What do you think? I didn't want to know. Oh. Not then. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking wow. for. Wow. Oh, it's very there sad. There another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. I'm going. There. There it is. Try that one. Oh, no. Me and who's Sarah? I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Oh. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Jeez. The thing about happiness is <clears throat> you only know you had it and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Aww. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. What is that? It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Sad. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Is it your kid? All right. But we don't know anything. With the baby? Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. And 
nothing like that in the NCR these days. Uh, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. Green. But that's where I come in. <clears throat> just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections, I mean. Hmm. Then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary, too. I've never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's <sighs> just running security for the sheep. A lot of standing around looking tough. <laughs> well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? Oh. This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Yeah, it's called a gun. I promise. You just shoved it I into know. your thigh. I'm sure we're gonna be <coughs> here. We are. We'll see. It's San Francisco? That's no, okay. I got it. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hot shit, man. town with the world <coughs> Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own <gasps> ticket to any of the town. It. it all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Oh. All right. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Oh, connecting me. Man. I don't know how I should feel about this guy. All I know is it's sad. Oh, here we go. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Who are you? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? What do you mean? Just so you know, they died like dogs. <gasps> and you weren't there to help them. Oh, no. Another memory to try. I got it. Connect you. Uh, which? Oh, I guess that was the woman and the little one. That's sad. All these painful memories. <clears throat> Hi, memory. Oh. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Hmm. So, um, I hear you take care of people's problems. Uh -oh. Is that right? If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I should have clicked on them. Oh well. I guess I don't really need to click on them. Just inner monologue. All right, let's see. It. <sighs> Whoa. I'm glad you decided to meet me. So, you're with the institute. Oh, First sense weren't all that impressive. Freaky I'm good, still. But I'm not that good. But the Institute could always you have make no more, jaw. and kept making them better each time. You still give me the <coughs> creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Blah. Okay. I wanted to see for myself. This did. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. Hmm. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. That's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. <laughs> and what's that, Mr. Kellogg? Pay him more? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. Uh, I think I do. Oh. Uh... Very well. B748, initiate. Wow. That's a good 
good gun. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Huh. Getting warmer. Getting warmer. You've got to tell us something. Yes. Is this the way I'm We're running out of brain here. Yeah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. There's a brain. Now. There's a brain. I know this spot. They're me. Reacting to anything. Oh wow. What are you? Big heads never like taking <coughs> orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate oh. like me. They were but they needed me. Well, I made well, sure I've they knew it. There's nothing there. Alright. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. They needed something done. They came to me. Oh dear. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. Okay, now. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. <coughs> Neither did they. What? Okay. Not really. What? I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but. What? Uh, I never liked to, but it was better this way. Um. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Uh. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. Yeah. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume uh. I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Yeah. Even if she somehow got thought out. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. My god. <clears throat> if she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Ha! Thank you for your vote of confidence. Alright, carry on. This is the one. Here. Well, it's weird seeing it from a different angle. Am I looking? I should be looking. Uh. <laughs> oh, baby! Sean! Is it all ghost? Everything's gonna be okay? Come here. Come here, baby. Oh. I got it. You're not looking! I'm trying to get out. Oh, here we go again! A bam! That sucks! Oh, your eyes are open. Oh, you're blinking! You're not dead! Or at least not in his memory. You're blinking! Oh, creeper. Oh! <clears throat> you blinking? He's blinking! I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Alright, we're good. Who? Oh, you! I'm. Uh... Sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. Should I be. Found another intact memory. Good. Let's go. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. I'm going to the memory. <gasps> Hello. Okay. Oh. Is that your son? Sean. This appears to be a very Wasn't my idea memory. to settle down with the kid in the, the middle of I Diamond think? City. Oh, I should have waited for her to stop talking. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Wow. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. Oh. I ended up kind of liking it. He's a good kid. A reminder of what my life might have been. His hair's like my hair. Turned out differently. Oh. But there's no going back. <clears throat> I knew it was just temporary. Oh. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Okay, what's going on? Oh. Are you doing anything? Anything? Or are you just standing there? This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old 
man's. It old seems man. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Oh. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. So now what? I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. So now what? So oh. Long. It's okay. One of these days you're going to get your head Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. The new Who breed of synths could easily <gasps> pass as human. That's a synth? Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. Oh. They were killing machines. Pure right. and simple. Okay. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. Ew. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Huh. There's a big crisis this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Uh-oh. Left? As <coughs> in, he's gone rogue. Name's <gasps> Dr. Brian Burton. Really? He's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Ooh. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. Sean. Bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Uh -oh. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate. Uh oh. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. What? No. Oh. Poor child. X six eighty eight. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. Wonderful. Let me pull you out of there. Thanks. As soon as you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. How do I go? Oh God. Wow. I know I wasn't talking much for that one, but like seriously, good God. No wonder. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have. Where's uh where is my buddy? Dr. Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? Uh I'm what is I doing? Am I okay? Are you seeing anything anything bad? Don't be alarmed. Huh? But I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before. This is uncharted territory. Oh, good. So neural and physiological readings but where is Valentine? From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Okay. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh, are you? Virgil Kellogg's led teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. Haha. -ha. But that only leads to more questions. How, How to do work? We... Where do we go next? All right. What do you think we should do? Um, let me think. What, what Virgil? About that memory involving Virgil, the rogue institute scientist. I'd like to find him. If he were alive, we have a common enemy. He might help us. Aha. Uh -huh. Good idea. I like it. The memory said the institute tracked him to the glowing sea, but that seems crazy. A madman would think twice about going there. All the more reason, perfect hiding That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. Yeah, he's must using be. the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield. Or a, uh, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. But then how if is Virgil he okay? If to survive there, you'll have to do the same. Oh, good. If you're going to follow him. 
I probably do. Anti-radiation? How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Oh, good. Maybe more. Uh-huh. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. Oh. That would be perfect. All right. Find a way. Find <coughs> a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. Thank you. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. Okay. He's waiting for you upstairs. Oh, good. I was wondering where he was. All right. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye.